Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth Sangwan. In this particular session, we will configure our Kali Linux on our main Windows machine with help of a feature available with the name Windows Subsystem for Linux. So let's get started. For Windows Subsystem for Linux, you first you have to enable that feature. So just go with your Windows features here. Just scroll down to the end and here at the last you will get your Windows Subsystem for Linux. Right? Just check this box go with the ok here this will again download some updates for your windows device and you have to up install them for installation you need to restart your device so just go with restart here perfect after restart just go with your microsoft store which is also available in the taskbar here on the Microsoft Store, just search here for your Kali Linux or you can even search for your Kali also that will give you the same result just go with your Kali Linux here go with the get part and it will simply get the license for you and install your Kali Linux CLI version for the lightweight WSL Windows system for Linux version on your Windows operating system It has been downloaded now let's open this one just go with your open part and it will automatically install Kali Linux on your main Windows operating system here all right so just go with the username as again you can go with any user other than root part because root user was already available there so I'll go with user as let's go with grow here again we cannot add capital letters in the username so just go with small letters go with the password i'll go with password as root and enter so the simple kali linux on your main windows operating system you don't need any kind of vmware software you can simply execute this one all the commands for the windows operating system will work here as well if you want you can simply go with cmd or if you want you can also access all the files from your windows operating system here as well so if i go with simple ls or if i go with simple pwd you can see i'm in the slash home slash crow directory but if i simply go to cd dot dot slash dot dot slash and then i go with simple pwd or go with ls hyphen al to list all the files here we got a folder with the name mnt right just go with cd mnt go with ls again here we got the local drive c here if you want to access any file from your windows operating system you can directly go with this local drive c just go with cd go with local local drive c and inside local drive c you got multiple other folders as well like you got program files you got the users you got your uh, other folders as well so just go with the users and inside users we got multiple other folders as well so let's go with simple user as crow which i am like now logged in so just go with cd crow and here let's go with simple desktop right on the desktop we have these three files an image a service and a try file so let's give it a check can we access those files to go with ls hyphen al and all these files were available here so you can easily use this kali and linux windows subsystem for linux on your main operating system you just need to enable that windows feature and then you just have to get this kali linux from your microsoft store if you get any kind of error do one more thing you just have to set the default version for your wsr just go with the simple command go with this cmd and then write a command wsl hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version by default the version 2 was there for the WSL Windows system for Linux but if you get some error just set this WSL version from 2 to 1 right this will resolve your errors and you will be able to use this Windows system for Linux without any issue so that's all in this lab setup in this lab configuration have a good day and stay connected